Alrighty guys, we are back once again with Christopher Chong and Andrew Selva, the cameraman. What did we do today, mate? I came seventh place with a spicy, spicy deck, not really spicy, but it's Crusader Guard Dragons. Alright, so this just isn't locals, what was today? Today was the NLG Regionals, 113 men, probably the biggest we'll ever get here in Victoria for this season. Um, seven rounds of Swiss, it's pretty awesome. good. What were you playing today? Crusader Guard Dragons. Awesome. Um, we both, I mean all three of us, we decided to play this and we just you guys, wanna, you guys want to say hello? Who are you guys? Uh, uh, Josh. Liam. Uh, yeah, we all we, we, we theorized this deck. Liam probably has the most experience with Crusadius. Uh, and How'd you Josh... go today, Liam? <laughs> Came 20th. 20th? Yeah, we had a mirror match, I mean. Josh. Yeah, they had, to, they had to fight each other. It was really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, deck... I'll, just minor differences, but our decks are very, very similar. Um, but awesome. yeah. Let's get straight into the deck profile. So... Three of all the Crusadius. Probably nothing much to say about them. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, besides this being a tuner, and this popping cards, and this being the main combo piece, nothing really mattered. Unless uh, me, going into game 3, always making my opponent go second, and then just doing this to my opponent, and just one punch them. Um, yeah, the deck's pretty lit. I think you need to play all of this, because any two Crusader is just full combo, usually. Uh, it's crazy, so you have to play them. Um, I chose to play three rescue cat and the uh, one elephant because this gives me access to the cheery beast and that card is just insane because the amount of pendulums that we had today and sky strikers was actually absurd um, and this you just make bees and you just protect the bees and you are you actually just win so uh, the like, cat also like gets you into all your combos because it just summons two leonis and then you just have the full combo um, so like you don't want to normal summon it because it's like really susceptible to hand traps But if it's your only play or you have like call by the grave, then it's like super strong Yeah, this and any Crusader is it's the same two Crusader combo anyway, so I think it's really good, I rate it, Must, if you should play it uh, Then the for the extenders, of course we play the three serpent and one buster In this deck you just need one of these yeets and a serpent and you just go off and you just do crazy things This can chain block Sayuja if there's something to note as well, it's really really cool. Yeah, if you yeah. chain block the first Sayuja, this is blocking the se se second Sayuja most of the time. You also block Bell. Oh, you yeah. banish your Red MD and then summon it with Piss T so they can't Bell you. Yeah, so yeah. you banish um, Red MD off of this and then it's banished. Piss T can summon from Banished Belgrave, but because it's banished they can't Bell you. It's like plays around the hand traps. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're just insane. This is just plus two anyway. So we have to like play the, it. The, the, yeah. <laughs> the best dragon. So basically you need two Crusadius and then you draw a dragon and then you just go crazy yeah. after that. And because like the whole theory with dragons, I decided to play three Destrudo because every time I saw Destrudo in my hand, it was usually four negates, a hundred percent. It was uh, three negates and a uh, can't target my cards basically. That, that was what we were trying to go for, or at least me. So I think three Destrudo was really really good. Uh, the other thing with Destrudo is if you like have one Crusadia and this, you can uh, normal Crusadia target this, make it a it becomes level four or lower dragon. I uh, like make Magius, make a guard dragon, trigger Magius. So like it can act as a um, another uh, like one of the chaos dragons. It can just like extend your combos as well as end you on better boards. Hopes you get the LP and PC as well. Yeah. And if they don't do anything, this just instantly becomes a, a level seven or level eight synchro for you. Like almost every time I saw it, I won. It's yeah. nuts. It's nuts. It's insane. <laughs> also, if you draw red MD, you can legit just summon this and then just link it up into a Sayuja, and this will be in your graveyard for another for, for your uh, place for your end board. And then the hand traps. We played. We decided to play triple droll because droll is just super absurd. This this format with the dangers running around, uh, Salaman grades, uh, strikers. I this, heard this uh, won you uh, round one against Exodia. Yep. Literally <laughs> one day of peace <laughs> drew me into this. Droll and locked him. He just doesn't play. He just <laughs> dies. So this was actually this is just crazy. Uh, every time I every time we, we had this in our hands, we just felt super safe because we knew that we were not going to die and we were going to one punch them. I yeah, order started this, this out every single time for impermanence. You started it for impermanence? Every time. Unless I was specifically versing some sort of combo like Thunder. Yeah. It was super strong. Um, it was. I only played two, this is one of the only differences. I played two because I lost my third one just before the tournament started. Um, yeah, so that was awkward. So you probably should play three. Yeah, three is good. Play three. Yeah. And your 
my your 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 garnet, which is not really a garnet. If you draw this, this is actually insane. Actually like combo better. If you, draw actually, you actually combo crazy <laughs> because you go <laughs> LP, you, you you LP bring out the Destrudo, you banish the LP to summon this, and you bring the Drake one, and you just go to your Zaryuja. Pretty strong, play, pretty strong garnet. Would you ever yeah, play more if it wasn't limited? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You'd play three if it wasn't limited. Uh, excuse me, Absolutely. Liam. I'm, Probably I'm, yes. Liam, I ask the questions, mate. You wanna go? <laughs> anyway, back to the oh, deck. Yes, this, 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 this card is just crazy. I actually killed someone with this because this was my only play. I was grinding against back a lot of the times. And I just summoned this, summoned a Draco, punch. Summoned this, summoned a Draco again, punch. So like, that was all I was doing and it, it actually worked. Also, someone just gave this back to my hand and I just painted one card, Sarujo. Legit. Seems like a pretty good Ghana. Silly. Uh, I decided to play two Kaijus because this is still a Crusadia deck, like it or not. Uh, and you usually just kaiju and you just one punch them. Actually, just one punch them. Why'd you pick Radiant? Uh, I chose Radiant because if I were to go second, and I, I, if I started in Waterfront thinking I was going to go first, uh, I, I knew that I was going to go first. Uh, this can summon me token and just kill them even harder, right? Because the token is 2A. No other reason. Gamma Seal because Waterfront, good card. Uh, three call combo deck. You have to play it. Uh, loses super hard to Ash. And uh, Ogre if they play it. But yeah, uh, you got to play Call by the Grave. I wasn't really using Call by the Grave because no one was hand trapping me. I was actually using it as a disruption. But that is the theory behind it. Yeah, it's like crazy good against Sound Grave. Like, yeah, I actually hit someone's uh, Sound Light Wolf and it actually just stopped yeah. and I just. It can be them. stronger than some of your like actual boss monsters some of yeah. the time. Like there was one time he ashed me, but my hand was already mediocre enough to not, to not do anything much anyway, even if I Call by the Grave his Ash. So I just left it and I just set it and I just stopped him that way. Especially when you DD Crow. Uh, we played three reborn spells, so one, two, and three. We decided that these three were enough. This is the newest one, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. This one brings back a dragon, and you can move a dragon, basically. So it's a, it, it's really good for this deck because sometimes you just need to bring back your LP or your Pitsy, and you need to move it so that you can play because you have the sunlight move and you have the LP or Pitsy, and you just keep going. Uh, this one is just extender, monster reborn, extender as well. <laughs> The other thing with this is, if you play against like uh, Pendulum or like the Mirror, hypothetically, uh, you can move your Sayuja out of the extra monster zone so they don't get the extra zone, which like comes up sometimes. Uh, and this is where we had our differences. Uh, I decided to play Foolish Burial. It's like uh, it's a multi-use. Like if I draw Wyvern Monster, I can put the Maximus. If I have Draco and I can't get the Maximus to so one punch them, I just put the Maximus in there for my Draco to add it back. Uh, this card with this universe also is like my fourth this is fourth of my every single monster basically. Uh, and then one Broda because this is an Arborea basically, so I'm playing four copies of Arborea which is more Crusadius. I always wanted to see all my Crusadia cards because regardless if I'm going first or second, if I'm going first I want a full combo, if I'm going second I want to kill them. So you were, the, you were the only one who played these two? Yes, they decided to play the... So, so yeah. you played Foolish, why no, foolish why no Broda? Broda? Uh, I didn't play Rodok because I didn't want to lose the Thumb Dragons, and I didn't have a consistency problem all day. I bricked once. Uh, I foolish. I played one foolish, two to Strudel. What about you, Josh? Uh, I didn't play either of these. I also didn't play the second Kaiju, the uh, Radiant. I played three Waterfront in the main, uh, just because I thought it was like really, really strong in game one. Because if I ended on Gamma Seal, I, I just won every single time. Um, yeah. Sweet. All right, so that's the main deck. So that's the main deck. And now for the side, uh, for the extra deck. I mean, everyone knows what, what this card, what, what the, the extra deck does anyway. So I play two magis because this is where the magic happens. I play one Crusadia Spartha because if this card resolves and I get the move stuff, I basically have spat on my opponent's face. That's like the card to impermanence and Veil, by the way. Don't stop the LP because then we can summon like non-dragons. If you stop this, uh, it's pretty hard to continue combat. Unless we sack you and open the Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's still possible, but it's better to hit that. Yeah. Uh, I play one guard dragon LP. Because if this card resolves, your opponent screams, help me. <laughs> one Guard Dragon Pitsy, because I don't pity my opponent when I play this deck. Uh, one Guard Dragon Argon Pain, because I want to bring them the pain. Oh, uh, one thing about this, there's a really cool card that we played that this brought out that helped against uh, a lot of the back row decks that you'll see in a second. Uh, one Crusader Aqua Maximum Damage. That's all it does, really. Uh, I, I've used this a couple of times to like negate stuff. So that was one time my opponent went Decatron, I go negate it with this. I mean, negate his effects. He makes Link Karibo, I summon another Crusadia, give it uh, double damage, which is Maximus. Use this effect, negate the Link Karibo, and just kill it through it. 
uh, one Boros Sword Dragon because it says kill you. <laughs> actually says kill you. I actually ran into someone's Boros Sword Dragon with four monsters alongside with this and just killed him because I brought back Agape with Monster Reborn and brought this out for free. You can also sum it up about them. Yeah, yeah. It's, really, <laughs> it's really crazy. Uh, two, so you just Skull Dread because if this card resolves, you're normally dead. Uh, I played one Naturi Beast because this card is actually beast in this deck. Uh, Naturia Bakion, which is also another uh, what do you call it? Agape target. Um, I just wanted to play this because I just wanted to bark at my opponent every time they play trap cards and say no. Yeah, so like against Altergeist, Guru Control, uh, even Salamon Grave, like ending on this card uh, <laughs> basically just shuts down anything they try to interrupt you with the next turn, unless they have Life Strike. Uh, on Cyber's Quantum Dragon, this card is MVP. This is like oh the my best goodness card. gracious. So good. This card literally just like helps me grind because it just bounces anything and they have they only can target this card for attacks, they can only target this card if you control a link monster. Like they just can't do anything and you just protect all your all your big bosses. It's so good. Like if you're playing Dragster, please cut it and play this. It's so much better. <laughs> um one Crystal Wind Synchro Dragon because I moved away 16 hot red <laughs> archfiends. Uh, when they were 30 cents each and now I have to play poor boy I don't actually think game. Hot Red is better now after playing it Yeah, I, 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 I actually it. think Crystal Wing is better I mean, I've always played Hot Red, it targets a face up and like every deck is just I discard, I do this like Thunder Dragon, yeah, they so discard a card effects. you can Crystal Wing negate but like with Hot Red you have to target a face up card so like it protects against something, it's good against evenly matched but for the most part it wasn't like there was you one, have other cards in the game yeah, like I just it used like, well, I did use Equimax just to get it really yeah. much yeah exactly yeah. If you don't kill them, obviously. Uh, and then lastly, Boros or Savage Dragon because if you're playing this deck, and, and, and you have to play this card because this card's a savage. You just kill me. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so were all your extra decks the same? Yes. Uh, he played Hot Red over Crystal Wing. Other than that, it was the same. Did you regret that decision? I didn't regret it. My matchups went... I, I versed one trap there. So like, it, it does better <laughs> against macro decks. I versed one Salomon Great in the last round. So like, How about you, yeah. Josh? I, I like Crystal Wing a lot. I think I would play it, even if I had access yeah, to it. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll change anything with the extra deck. I think it's pretty strong. Yeah, it was really I think it's perfect. Uh, for side deck, this is where we, we differ a little bit. Yeah. Um, I play 3 Phantasmi because this says search your floodgates or your hand traps or whatever interruptions you have, which is insane. Also stops uh, Sky Strikers in their tracks. Straight up. It's just so powerful, this card. Uh, also mulligans your hand. Yeah, it's uh, and it's also you can summon it off LP because uh, yeah, it's I a dragon. Say that. It's um. It's yeah. actually really crucial as the dragon. You, you can just end on as an extra negate, or like if you draw off so usually, like it just again protects you from targeting. Something um, like Misty is great too. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're going second. Yeah. Um, we both would have played this, we didn't have access to it. Uh, I, I'm not buying it. Yeah. I don't think it's good enough. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and mine just didn't come to the mail time, so. <laughs> yeah. But good card. Very, very good, good. Very good. Very good card. Also, beat stick. Very big beat stick. Uh, also, the map. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos. Uh, three artifact lenses. This was actually, this is this is strong. I just never slide it in because I never needed to. Because every time I went into like game three, if I if we if we went to that, I just made them go for it. I just one punch them literally. So, um, but it's the, in in theory, this is really good against all the combo decks right now. You draw and you land see them, and you actually just win. Yeah. It's only just very bad against our deck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> People slide it. And they just don't understand why they don't win. Like I slided this in against the Inferno player, but I didn't need to because he just bricked hard anyway. <laughs> it's Inferno. Yeah. Can also bait Cobra the Great. Uh, two Panker Trops. Uh, this card just overperformed every time, all the time, nothing to say about it. Uh, literally, one of the best this is cards. my favorite card. It is ridiculous. It's literally just, it just does the, everything. OTS, 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 in lit OTS. Yeah, please. Literally in the last round, in my last round, uh, he, we had like, 30, uh, like 1 minute 30 seconds to go. He just makes a very sub power board because he's, he's also pressure for time and he doesn't want to like pull the draw. I draw it, I, I top deck this, I special this, punch over it, kill something, monster it, body back and pass it. And like he just cannot answer it and it goes fine. Like I just win over 800 life points, which is crazy. I think this card is just absurd. Uh, I play Christia only because if I were to go first, I want to be able, my, my first Sayuja, I always want to summon a cat so that I can make my beast. And when I make the second Sayuja, I want to try and dig for like another bomb, which is probably this. Because this is you, only going first. <clears throat> yes, because you normally you don't do it. Um, what does Ninja Chinese Dragon do to this? Like legit, they just don't play. Um, they can still activate all the dangers. They just hope they hit like a big foot or something. With quantum on the field, yeah, well. probably not. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna survive forever. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Liam and I played this. Yeah. I played the third Panker Tops. I played the third Panker Tops. Yeah, yeah, because I played this at originally yesterday, and I only played it once, and it wasn't very good. So. I only sided it once as well. Uh, I played the Waterfronts in the side. They played it in the main, 
my theory is if I only want to see this card if I'm actually going first, and if I lose die roll and I go second, this card is, I, I'd rather have like all my other cards. How did basically. you guys find it, mainly? Um, I so like I said with the gamma seal, um, if you open this with your normal board, there's like almost nothing they can do because gamma seal just negates everything. Um, I did side it out a lot, uh, games two and three, uh, just because like it doesn't do anything going second. Um, but I think it warranted being in the main just because of how strong it was. Uh, I disagree entirely. In the main, it was perfect. It, going second, it actually won me. It's round seven. Uh, I was wasting Salomon Greats. I activated this. I did my place. He strikes in permanence. And then eventually, I ended up on a board where I was digging to Sayuja. I added Gamma Seal, special to Sayuja. And then he just couldn't play. I had five counters. Gamma Seal kept negating. Every time he would activate something, he'd have to link away. In order to do more things, I'd get more counters. I'd negate more things. Oh, well, well, that's varied ideas we can all take mm. in. There's uh, obviously pros and cons. Mm. Um, yep. And lastly, I think this is do you everyone agrees. Yes. If you're playing a deck that kills your opponent going second, you have to play Red Reboot. Yeah. Right? This card just because stops your, stops because your we're going we're, we're, we're slowly moving into like a a trap rely uh, tra trap heavy format where people just play Salaman Greats and Alter Guys and all that kind of stuff, especially here in Melbourne where we have so many Alter Guys. So many Alter Guys. Too. Right? This is just say I win. I just press the button. Actually just press the button. Pull the so, Pull the lever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, speaking of all yeah. Yeah. I played four in a row today. So many There was a plays. lot. Um, we were deck. maining this at one point yeah. to stop uh, impermanence. Um, I also, if we're a good second, this just helps us secure Yeah, it does. If you, like, get, if you lose the die roll and you open this against the trap deck, it's ridiculous. Um, there was just like better cards we wanted to play in the main, uh, and it just wasn't room for it. In the future, will you see it maybe going to the main? Uh, possibly. I when think I would get reprinted. <laughs> when, yeah, maybe when Pemmes gets reprinted, and more people have it. But uh, I think I'd keep it in the side. It was. It was good we'll keep it in the side for now. For but now, like, yeah. it is uh, you can heavily consider this in the main because this that doesn't matter if you go first or second. You either make a crazy point in the scoop or you just kill it. Yeah, which is crazy. So like, I see, I, I see room for this. I just gotta find. Space. Right. Oh, that's awesome. That's the main deck. I want to personally congratulate Liam, Chong, and Josh for a great day's work. Um, Hannah, do you have any last things you would like to say? Shout out to General Games, uh, Frankston. Shout out to Idris Elba, my cameraman. Shout out to Chaotic Factory, even though he took all my heart rate abyss. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, shout out to all these people who sponsor me. Um, and of course, Next Level Game for hosting such a fantastic event, holding so many players, and probably the biggest uh, regional this season. And that's about it, man. Awesome. Any last words, Liam? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Shout out to these two for like, <laughs> discussing the deck profile with me, of course. Yep. Cool. That's good. All right. Well, and we look forward to the next uh, profile. So well done, Chong, and congratulations. Fucking you!